Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and I want to talk a little bit about the update as far as the Johnny and Amber case. Now, we did see, oh, probably about a week back, um, maybe not even that, a lot going on, right? Um, Johnny wanted the case kind of to have a delay because it was going to, in fact, be in the way of Fantastic Beast 3. Now, um, she absolutely fired back, calling him a bunch of names a weasel and all of this, um, saying, you know, he held her hostage. And, and we've heard all of these things before, but basically she called him reckless and irresponsible for not um, talking to Warner Brothers first before actually talking to the court well we are actually getting kind of an end to the means with that now we are seeing <laughs> sorry amber sorry about your luck chuck but the uh trial is going to be delayed i'm not sure if if it has anything to do with fantastic beast 3 but it does, it is, uh, you know, getting that delay that he needs, which is awesome. Um, obviously, we're talking about the Virginia Fairfax case um, with Judge Bruce White. Now, it is going to be pushed back from January 11th to May 3rd, 2021. And um, like I said, I, I don't think this has anything to do with Fantastic Beast 3 um, or, you know, Aquaman 2, which we're going to discuss Amber being quite a bit of the liar. But um, the court did say right now the Virginia Supreme Court has not authorized us to conduct jury trials. And that is why, essentially, um, you know, the beer bug is actually causing this. And there is also a possibility that this is going to have, like, a massive, um, it's going to be a massive event, right? They're going to have so many of the different courtrooms. There is going to be a lot um, and unfortunately, that's going to take a lot. So they, they are pushing it back, which is, I, I think, awesome. I really do. So it, the career, though, had nothing to do with it. The movie had nothing to do with it. Regardless, Johnny still got his way. Hmm, funny how that works, huh, Amber? Remember when he said he's got all yes men? It was totally the beer bug. Wink, wink. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about Amber here, right? Let's talk crazy. So... During my last video, which I'll put in one of the cards, um, you know, Amber said, this is when it has to be. This is when, talking about January 11th, the court has to be because if we push it back, I actually start Aquaman 2. I think she said it in February. Um, yeah, that was like, <laughs> it's funny because I've talked to a few of the depth heads in the comment section and, um, Originally, it was like, oh, Tristan, you are completely wrong. You are wrong. She is not in the movie. And then it was like, well, she could be lying, which is absolutely true. And now we caught her in a lie. Now I do, obviously. <laughs> I, I have no doubt that she's an Aquaman too, whatsoever. But um, there is this letter from, you can go to Fairfax.gov, you can get the paperwork, right? I actually got this from the change.org petition, which is wonderful for updates. Or you can follow Laura on Twitter. She also does a fantastic job. So let's talk about this. This is basically saying, um, you know, the, it originally said <laughs> that Amber was going to be filming in, you know, mid-February 2021, which is not the case. As uh, for Aquaman 2, the film will not start production any earlier than May 31st. So we're looking summer, right? June, July. There, it's not even going to begin filming. So she completely lied. Again, on court documents, obviously, she has no problem lying to the public. But it's the fact that she is, you know, over and over and over again, caught in multiple lies. This woman wouldn't know what to do. If, have you ever seen that movie, Liar, Liar? If that was her case, she would be so, so screwed. She wouldn't know what to say. 
The funniest part. The funniest part. I love this way too much. Uh, I know it's just, it, it's silly, but it's perfect, right? Amber Heard thinks she has all this power. She is woman. Hear her roar. And she is subpoena Disney for the Fairfax case. Yes, <laughs> I have the paperwork literally right here. How does this woman think she gets away with this stuff, right? How? Do, I, I don't understand. Like, you don't mess with the mouse. <laughs> I think everyone knows that. Um, the Disney is pretty much untouchable, but she does. She's got a subpoena here for Walt Disney Most Motion Pictures Group. I... I Here's my question, and I'm looking through this paperwork as we talk. Um, how did she, for one, expect to subpoena the company in general? And that's fine. There's stuff like this has happened before. But why did you not specifically um, subpoena a person? There should have been, and, I'm, and I could be wrong. I'm looking through the paperwork, and I looked through it earlier, but... Um, they should have, so if she's subpoena Disney, you know, the, the production team that worked on, uh, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, it, why was that not subpoenaed? Why was, um, you know, the, the entertainment sector or this sector or this person or that person? No, the subpoena literally just says Walt Disney Motion Picture Group Incorporated. Uh, it makes no sense. This girl is absolutely like... I'm pretty sure a psych evaluation wouldn't even touch what this woman has. It's insane to me how much she thinks she gets away with. And I haven't, I haven't had a chance to actually look through this, um, uh, this attachment here. But even so, she, girl, <laughs> get therapy, get Jesus, get something. You need help in the strongest way and nicest way possible i can say this you are fucking psychotic you are absolutely a worse than you know a girl interrupted crazy you are insane you are the winkest link get help anyways let me know what you guys think about this it is nice to know that johnny did get um the trial pushed back and we are seeing, you know, quite a while for that, which is really good to have in between cases because it's it's so such an emotional distress, right? Anything similar to that. So I am glad to see that. I did post a video yesterday. I'll put in the cards of Johnny thanking his fan. I actually, I when I watched that, I was really taken back. Um, I think it's sweet, right? Not a lot of celebrities do that at all, unfortunately. And to have him... Not only go through and edit the video because, um, you know, they, they had to do certain stuff, but to actually go through his handwriting is beautiful. I, I thought it was really nice, really professional. And a lot of people have lost that edge, that that, you know, humility and that professionalness within, you know, Hollywood in general, any any entertainment industry. And I thought that was really sweet. Really, really Johnny-like, but really, really sweet. So let me know, of course, what you guys think about this. If you had already known or if you knew, you know, figured this was coming. <laughs> or the fact that moron, oh, literally, subpoena Disney. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I want to give a huge shout-out to my Patreon and subscribe stars. You guys literally make this channel possible. Huge thank you to Cage the Mick, Robert Mick Twiz, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris Z, David L, David Rafford, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Mighty Balls, Mike Buckner, Mizen Barbosa, Ruscar, Ryan Decker, Robert Hoffman, and Doc Holiday. You guys are absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget on the way out to like as always if you enjoy the content and hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.